The pier at Port Muck was built by a man called William McClelland and McClelland was hoping to export limestone from Island McGee. As it transpired, there was a whole legal wrangle over mineral rights and that didn't happen. But the pier uh, was built here. However, it's possible the pier might have had an ulterior motive behind it because William McClelland was the main smuggler in Island McGee. A lot of smuggling went on here uh, right into the 1820s, early 1830s. McClelland had trade routes, certainly had trade routes with the Netherlands. We know that that's where a main route was uh, for contraband. Uh, and you can just imagine it coming into areas like this. There's a lot of caves from here further south, right down the coast to the Goblins and towards Whitehead. Some of those are smugglers' caves. And other caves they built especially, uh, built caverns underground. So a lot of uh, illicit activity was going on as well. And William McClelland was identified as the main person. He was quite a well-to-do farmer. The Coast Guards, could, they could never catch him. The revenue men could never catch him. Um, and whenever the Coast Guards came to be charged with the idea of trying to, to stop smuggling, and being located in permanent places. Uh, then Port Muck was one of the places that they determined would have a permanent Coast Guard presence. Uh, so they built the Coast Guard cottages here and ironically they built them right in William McClellan's farmyard so there was no, no guessing who they thought was behind the smuggling. Um, and you can still see the little cottages, the row of them today on the headland. Um, things got a bit complicated because his daughter Eliza then married one of the Coast Guards so that must have made for an interesting conversation around the dinner table I imagine. Well, the Ordnance Survey Memoir of the 1830s, uh, the writer of the memoir uh, recorded that the inhabitants, being all of Scotch descent, retain the manners and habits of their ancestors. The people are very hospitable, but very blunt in their manners and obstinate in their opinions. So he was quite, uh, quite clear about what he, uh, he detected when he came here to Ayla McGee in terms of how people uh, interacted with him and so on. Lots of the, the names are all Scottish names. The early names in the 1660s include like Galloway, Wilson, Beggs, Grahams, um, and we even have a Robert Presley in Ida McGee in 1666. I'm not sure if he's connected to the King of Rock and Roll or not, but uh, there's a fair chance that Ulster Scots connection made its way, of course, across the Atlantic, so you never can tell. Mm -hmm.